Hey Digital Fam, my name is John D. Saunders and in today's Digital Block, we discuss one of the best ways to hold a user's attention in the digital age. I can't tell you how many times I walked into a room just to forget the reason I went in there in the first place. As a society, our attention spans have continued to dwindle, especially with the emergence of smartphones. According to research, our attention spans have dropped from 12 seconds in 2002 to about 8.2 seconds in 2015. To put it in perspective, we have the same attention span as a goldfish. Insane. However, it's not the worst thing as a marketer to experience. It just means we have to become concise in our messaging, utilizing one of my favorite marketing mechanisms, video. In today's digital block, I want to talk about a few examples of video and how to leverage visual content to hold the attention of consumers and increase engagement using Facebook and YouTube video ads. Hey guys, so first and foremost, what gave me the idea for this specific video blog was just how influential video has been, especially since our attention spans has really dropped. So this article or infographic by Wise Owl provided some really cool information about how forgetful we are and how our attention spans are just so low. So you can check out some of these stats here. Uh, basically, an average office worker checks their email 30 times an hour. The average user picks up their phone more than 1,500 times a week. So we're always mobile. We're always using this content and this technology to expedite our lives and help us. But it's also taking away from our attention span. Also, the average page visit lasts less than a minute now. And users often leave web pages in just 10 to 20 seconds. So if they're not getting what they need instantaneously, they're leaving. That's why video has become such a big, big tool in 2016 for holding attention and getting people to engage and convert on your website. So the average length watch of a single internet video is 2.7 minutes. 59% of senior executives would rather watch a video than read text when both are available. So what does this tell us? That we need to use video to get to people to get their attention and keep holding their attention long enough to engage and convert them to a lead. Okay, so our first stop is Facebook video ads. Now, Facebook video ads are super important because one, they're extremely cheap. We're paying about a penny per view on Facebook for individuals to watch our content. So we're targeting people, specifically entrepreneurs, business owners, people that wanna learn about online content and digital marketing to help them with their jobs and their careers. Now, it's crazy because there are 500 million users watching about 8 billion videos daily on Facebook. 75% of that traffic is mobile. So that tells us that we need to dedicate a lot of our video content to mobile users who are on Facebook about 40 minutes a day to get our content out there. So for example, if you look at this ad, right, we've got 1,600 views on one of our videos called Seven Essential Apps for Entrepreneurs and Business Owners. Right now, our budget is 30 bucks. We spent 21 bucks. Our schedule was just February 8th to March 9th. So we wanted to do a small test campaign to run this. We reached 8,300 individuals and 1,600 video views. Now this is pretty awesome, right? One thing with Facebook, if you're scrolling through a video on Facebook, for example, and the video auto plays, and it auto plays for more than three seconds, Facebook counts that as a view. So the results can be somewhat skewed. However, if you're paying about a penny per view, regardless of if they're watching 30 seconds or three seconds, you're still getting enough bang for your buck to warrant this as a small campaign for your social media page. So first thing, let's take a look at our uh, performance. As you can see, we've had 2,500 video views in total for this campaign. Cost per result was about a penny, and the result rate is 17 to 20%, depending on what length you're looking at the campaign. Now, that's pretty amazing because one out of five individuals getting served our ads are actually watching it and viewing it. So those are astronomical results. That's about one in five, which is great. Uh, if we look at the audience, we can see that it's pretty even, 49% women, 49% uh, men, and the average age is millennials, about 18 to 34. Now, if you look at placement, this is the part that's really important. Most of it is mobile newsfeed. So for us, anytime we place ads, we always do either desktop newsfeed, which is the main newsfeed on your computer when you're scrolling through Facebook, or mobile newsfeed. As you can see, mobile is 90% of the traffic. So everybody's watching videos on their phones. 
Now, if we go into the actual ad, we can get a little bit more information. For our targeting, we targeted individuals in the US, 18 to 48, who have interests that include smartphones, that are business owners, mobile apps, or entrepreneurs. Our estimated daily reach was 1,300 to 3,400 people on Facebook. So for $30 and 30 days, we're reaching between 1,300 and 3,000 individuals on Facebook seeing our content. I mean, this is huge. Okay, guys, I want to show you one of the most important metrics for your Facebook video ads. If you highlight your mouse over performance and go to video engagement, this will show you how much of the video content individuals actually watched. So Facebook recently released this data. This is important for uh, framing your work and seeing how long your video should be, how long you can keep people engaged. So for example, um, the average amount of people that viewed the video is 24%, right? Which is great. But people that viewed the video up to 50% was 358. So of those 1600 results, 358 people watched it 50%, which isn't bad. That gives you enough information to either click through and engage. Now, if I look at the numbers even more, 354 individuals watched video content up to 75%, 351 up to 95, and 149 individuals watched our videos 100%. So 150 people for 30 bucks watched four minutes of video consistently without leaving the page. This content gives us the metric of, hey, our video is about four minutes. Maybe we can shorten it a bit to get into this frame right here. Maybe keep it two to three minutes. So this gives us some analytical data that we can use in creating our next video. Creating video ads is super easy. You can do it the same way that you create Facebook ads. Um, I'm including this link to the guide in the blog below so you guys can check that out in detail to get started on your video ads. Next up, I wanna talk about Google AdWords specifically video ads and true view ads. So for example, if you're on YouTube, uh, let's say you do a search, I'm searching for one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, Marcus Brownlee, he has a tech blog, right? So if I search for his YouTube channel, I get a few ads. I get one ad here, which is a retargeting banner, and then I get two ads here. So these are actually ad positions that companies pay for that position. Now, I'm not a big fan of these because I want it to be more organic. I want people to be able to see the content before a video plays. So for example, if I click one of his videos, now once I click one of his videos, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, an ad pops up before. As you can see, this is in line with his brand. He's talking about technology, he's talking about phones. So they actually served up an ad in comparison to what he offers. Now the video starts up. So the video you saw prior is an ad. Based on categories that you choose in AdWords for who you wanna target specifically, those ads pop up before videos and they work really well because they're in line with people and what they're searching for. Now, if I go back to campaign management, I can go to video targeting and I can show you guys an example of who I'm looking to target with my video content with those true view ads. So demographics are 18 to 24 and 25 to 34. Interests, for example, are technophiles, um, investors, social media enthusiasts, entrepreneurs, those are all individuals I'm targeting with my content. Now, if I go back to my campaign, my budget is four bucks a day, and my ads, right now I'm pushing two videos, our 100 marketing tools and our camera bag giveaway. Um, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you can actually enter that contest as well. So right now, we have about 2,500 impressions and 500 uh, views. The view rate is 22%. So anytime you see video promotion or video ads, it's super inexpensive, about 11 cents, a little bit more than Facebook, but it's more uh, laser targeted. And the view rate is 20%. So one out of five individuals are seeing these ads. We also found a great guide for setting up your video ads via YouTube. Um, uh, this link is also in the blog as well. And I think using YouTube video and Facebook video in tandem to promote your content, whether it's testimonials, or a video showcasing your product or video blogs that you can convert to blogs and podcasts. Video is just super influential in 2016 and I think everybody should be checking it out. Hey guys, thanks again for watching the Digital Block. If you love our content, feel free to subscribe below.